So Ben, four years ago, you came into my office and you said, I'm going to do container security. And I said, what? <laughs> so how, how did you decide to bet on container security four years ago when, when there were no containers? So I'll, I'll, be, I'll be very frank just for the purpose of other people uh, like me, kind of public school guys trying to figure out. You have, that's not exactly what happened. Uh, that was the third time I came to your office, just to be frank. <laughs> the, that's the first true. time was I'll like, I had this amazing idea about like mistake prevention thing. It was like, let's prevent mistakes. Human beings make mistakes, we'll, we'll prevent it. And it was just like, Ben, go away. And I said like, you know, actually you have, it's a different thing, like DLP is broken. Like people spend all that money into DLP and it's like, Ben, go away. And then like the third time we came out with the containers, but we, we tried to learn from time to time. So um, I had this theory at the time, which I still stick to it, and I think it can generate a lot of uh, good uh, security ideas. So Gartner uh, actually had this thing called a hype cycle. So it basically shows that a lot of ideas start kind of flat out, then they become like extremely popular, too popular, and then they kind of break down, and then over time they, uh, they pick up. So whenever I tried to pitch an idea that was already done and it's picking up like DLP, like no one would listen to me. So that these ideas were out. And then we started pitching stuff like we said, well, the DLP will be in the cloud because CASB was like super hot these days. And whenever we pitched it, people said like, yeah, yeah, this is amazing because they already invested in CASB and they were just, you know, people would say, that's a great idea. No one would invest, which was horrible. And I, I couldn't figure out like, why wouldn't they invest? And, and then I figure out, if it's already in the top of the hype, um, it's a great idea, but someone else already thought about it. So how do you get to the idea which will be very hot in like six months? But right now it's just picking up. I'll tell you how. We, we came out with the containers uh, security, which evolved into DevOps, uh, cloud native, and all that uh, good stuff. But basically I figured out that in cybersecurity, you don't need to be innovative. You just need to stand next to a guy who's innovative and say the word security after he said that. He said like IoT, you say security. And then like, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> but you have to be careful because like, it actually needs to be something that's actually picking out right now, not something that would pick up in four years. You have to pick the right thing. So I remember we were sitting in a place called Giraffe in Ertilia, and Dima said, hey, maybe we should go with containers. And I said, like, what is it? He said, well, it's like a VM, but it's smaller. And I said, like, that's the dumbest idea I ever heard, Dima. It's right, kind of picking up, and like the last POCs that we've done for all your stupid DLP ideas and all that, they were based on containers. So we, we should really look into that because it's speaking. And then we built this whole theory around it, started presenting it to VCs, and we actually started like, started getting traction. But actually no VC at that time in Israel quite got it. Like it was a pretty hot topic in the Bay Area. People in Israel didn't quite know what it was except of the developers. And generally speaking, anything that developers really like means that someone else would like it later. Like it was always like VMs, nah, that's for developers. Cloud, nah, that's for developers. Containers, nah, that's for developers. So anything that someone tells you, nah, that's developers, that's, that's a good place to start.